Hello everyone, my name is Tom Kamad of Tom's World TV. Have a great day to all of you. On this video, we're going to discuss about multiplication of fractions in simplest form. But before we start, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing, like, share, and hit the bell to receive the latest video to be uploaded. Before further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, are you ready? Now the topic that uh, we're going to discuss is all about multiplication of fractions. But before that, we should know the steps in multiplying fractions. So we have three steps here. The first one is multiply the numerators. The second one is multiply the denominators. And then the number three is express the final answer in lowest term. Now we have here some examples with uh, the similar fractions, whole number, and fractions, the same as these. And we have also mixed fraction. We have multiple fractions to multiply and we have also fractions multiplied by whole number. Let's begin with number one. We have here two third times four fifth. So all we gotta do is, as it said, multiply the numerators. This one. Ang gagawin natin dito ay multiply ng natin yung numerator sa numerator, denominator sa denominator. This is like that. So, ganito yun guys. Pangit ang sulat ko no. Two. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay? 3 times 5 is 15. So, meaning, this is the product of 2 third times 4 fifth. Now, ang question natin, ang tanong is, pwede ba natin itong i-reduce to lowest term? Anong number na ang pwede nating uh, pwedeng i-divide sa 8 at saka 15? Meron ba? O di ba wala? So, meaning to say, ang final answer natin is 8 over 15. Okay? So this is our answer. Okay, next. Dito naman tayo. Whole number, multiply it by fraction. Two-third. Okay. The first thing to do is, itong 9, isulat natin ng ganito. 9 over 1. So the same as 9 divided by 1 is 9. Okay? Kasi meron tayong fraction. Two-third. Okay? And, I-multiply natin to 9 times 2. Para balance sila, so gawin din natin itong parang fraction siya. 9 times 2 is 18 over 1 times 3. Okay. Ngayon, 18 over 3, pwede ba natin i-divide ng, uh, pwede ba natin i-reduce the lowest term? Yes. Papaano? So ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin yung 18 sa 3. Okay? O kaya, mag-isip tayo ng number na pwede natin i-divide sa 18 at saka 3. Pwede yung... 3, diba? Divide natin sa divided by 3. Ay, itong 3, pwede natin divide sa 18, diba? So, both numerator and denominator, divide natin sa 3. Para mabilis. It's equal to 18 divided by 3 is 6, diba? 6. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then, 6 divided by 1 is 6. Oh, Ang answer natin is, ang product ng 9 times 2 over 3 is 6. Okay? So, this is our final answer. 6. Next. Number 3. We have here whole number. Multiply it by 2 over 8. Again, with the same uh, process using this one. So, we're gonna write 5 over 1 times 2 over 8. Okay? It's equal to 5 times 2. 10. Over 8 times 1, 8. Okay? And then, pwede natin reduce siya sa lowest term, di ba? I-divide natin yung 10. Ito yung 10 numerator sa loob. And then, denominator sa labas. Okay? Is 1. 1 times 8, 8. Subtract, 2. Meron tayong remainder dito na 2. Paano ito sulat? Sa mixed fraction. First is, ang whole number natin is yung quotient. Ito, yung 1. Papunta doon at papunta doon. Ganon. So, ang sulat natin is 1, 2, over 8. Okay? So, this is our answer. O, pwede rin natin ulit i-reduce siya. Or, or, 1. Ito, divided na, i-divide na sa 2. Divided by 2. So, magiging 1 over 4. 2 over 8 at saka 1 over 4 ay parehas lang sila. Okay? Kumbaga, ni-reuse natin sa lowest term. So, this is our answer. 
1 and 1 over 4. Number 4. Our number 4 we have here mixed fraction. 3 1 half times 2 3 4. Paano gagawin natin dito? Of course, gawin natin itong improper fraction. Paano? So ito, itong ano, uh, denominator. Denominator multiplied by 3, then plus numerator. So ganito, 2 times 3, 6 plus 1, 7 over 2 times, ganun din dito, 4 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 plus 3, 11, 11 over 4. Now, 7 times 11, 77 over 4 times 2, 8. Now, we we'll reduce this to lowest term, so we're going to divide. Mag-divide tayo. 77 divided by 8. So, 77 divided by 8. So, pwedeng 9, di ba? 9 times 8 is 72. Okay? Tapos, subtract. And then, 7 minus 2, 5. Now, we have remainder 5. Quotient natin is 9. Ganyan ang pagsulat natin is 9, 5 over 8. So, this is our quotient, yung remainder, and then yung ating divisor or denominator. Okay, this is our final answer. So, another problem, we have 2 third times 1 half times 3 fourth. So, ito yung tinatawag nating dissimilar fractions kasi iba-iba yung kanilang denominator. Now, paano natin siya multiply? The same process, numerator to numerator, denominator to new denominator. So, we're gonna write 2 times 1 times 3 over 3 times 2 times 4. Okay? So, 2 times 1, 2 times 3, 6 over 3 times 2, 6 times 4 is 24. Okay? Ngayon ang tanong, pwede natin i-reduce sa lowest term. Paano? So, ang 6 ba pwede divide sa 24? Yes. So, ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin ito sa 6. Divide sa 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 24 divided by 6 is 4. Okay? Tama? So, this is our final answer. 1 4 is our final answer. Another example, 1 5 times 6. So, since meron tayong whole number dito, Sulat muna natin, 1 fifth times, gawin natin parang fraction siya, 6 over 1. Okay? Para rin tayo malito. Now, 1 times 6, 6. 5 times 1 is 5. I-divide natin yung 6 sa 5 para makuha natin yung lowest term. 6 divided by 5. 1. 1 times 5, 5. Subtract. So, bali, 1 ang remainder natin. Again, Ganun ang sulat, papunta dun sa divisor. Okay, ang una is 1, then 1 over 5th. Okay, this is our final answer. Okay, it's just like that, di ba? So, kung nagustuhan nyo ngayon, hanggang dito na lang, guys, ang ating uh, topic ngayon sa susunod, meron na naman tayong panibagong topic na i-discuss sa inyo. So, kung may natutunan kayo at nagustuhan nyo itong aking video ngayon na multiplication of fractions, pwede nyo ituro sa inyong mga Anak, kung ikaw ay bata na nanonood ngayon, uh, maraming salamat sa iyong panonood. Ulit-ulitin mo lang panoorin nito para alam mo yung proseso kung paano magmultiply ng fractions. Okay, kung nagustuhan nyo ito, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and also hit the notification bell para ma-receive nyo yung mga bago kong mga video na upload dito sa aking channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.